what's up guys i am back still updating you what is going on what is trending in nigerian politics greetings to you wherever you are uh it's a beautiful sunday morning the 18th day in the month of june 2023 okay um it is no longer new still talking about what is going on i'm talking about the petition of uh both peter obi and atiko abubaka the um, tribunal uh challenging the outcome of february 25 uh general election okay so a lot of people is of opinion that if it was in a same country that um, INEC chairman uh, either is supposed to be suspended or is supposed to be in prison, okay, that is um, the opinion of uh, many Nigerians, okay. It is not my own personal opinion, Nigerians. Okay, we also um, the aftermath, or not only the aftermath, or what happened during the uh, February 25 election. Now, this video I am about to share with you, don't forget that uh, even Peter Obi himself has been tendering some uh, video evidence, but this particular video that I am about to share with you, like seriously, I really don't know why I make chairman, okay, will, you know, still be as in, behave as if nothing happened, even when he was subpoenaed at the court, he had to send a representative, okay? Remember, Atiku Abubakar subpoenaed uh, INEC chairman for him to bring some uh, document to the court, uh, still to help on the, um, you know, uh, still to help on the uh, petition, okay, his case. And he had to send um, a representative. Seriously, this particular video, hmm, this particular video, what INEC chairman says, because I really don't see any excuse uh, from my next chairman or the commission itself from this video you are about to watch. I really don't see any excuse. I really don't see any excuse from my next chairman. Seriously, I don't see any excuse. What really happened uh, during the February 25 election? He has no excuse from this particular video I'm about to share with you. What other excuse? does INEC chairman have to give Nigerians what actually happened during the February 25 election? Let me not waste much of your time. Let me allow you to watch this video. Then at the end of the video, you'll be the judge. Do you think INEC chairman have any excuse to give the tribunal or the court what actually went wrong during February 25 election? Watch this video. It has been brought to my attention. So I will uh, suggest to Obiora from the Champion newspaper to read specifically Section 34 of the Electoral Act. So I go to the first question, uh, by, or a set of issues raised uh, by the reporter from Channels Television. He talked about uploading of results that are concerned about the process. Uh, has the process been compromised? Um, I would have loved to hear something more specific. This is not the first time that the Commission is uploading results on the IRF portal straight from the polling units. We started this in August 2020 in the Nasarawa Central State Constituency by election. And since August 2020, we have uploaded results on the IRF portal from 105 constituencies, including major off-cycle governorship elections and the results are still there on the IRF portal and I've been asking some of the political party leaders that we have been meeting with regularly to tell me if they notice any discrepancy between the hard copies of the results brought by their polling agents from the polling units and the results we have uploaded on the IRF portal. There are no discrepancies. So please be assured and reassured that the system is robust. We are not deploying it for the first time in the history of election to the country, even though it is the first time that we are deploying it for major, um, for a, in a general election. But we have done so in 105 constituencies, and the results are still there to be viewed. It is the largest archives of election results in Nigeria. Uh, so we are comfortable with the uh, robustness of the system. 
but like all web assets, will continue to improve and fortify the assets. Will continue to improve and fortify. Um, we know that there will be tremendous interest in the general election. Tremendous interest. And therefore, we have taken steps to ensure that the system accommodates as many voters as may wish, or oh sorry, as many interested individuals as may wish to access the portal. Uh, it has the capacity to dynamically expand to accommodate at least 200 million views at a time. Uh, because we know that there will be interest in Nigeria and outside the country. And we are working, we have worked on that actually to see. Uh, we expect that because of the interest, this, uh, the, a large number of people will be interested in the portal. But we also reckon that perhaps 200 million will be adequate uh, for the views or hits on the portal on election day. So be rest assured that the system is as robust as it can be. Secondly, you said that uh, civil society groups raise concern about the possible challenge regarding the announcement of results on the social media. And what is the commission going to do? Um, it's basically a plea. The commission does not support censorship. Uh, we believe that the best antidote to fake news is greater openness and transparent, uh, transparency. And will continue to be open and transparent. But I will appeal to citizens and those who operate on the social media to also exercise discretion in what they post because electoral issues, particularly results of elections, are very, very sensitive indeed. What we'll do on election day here, as results come in, particularly for the presidential election, there will be a giant screen behind me and people will be able to view the results that come from the states of the Federation as presented here by the state coalition officers for the presidential election. They will ultimately present the results to me as the returning officer for the presidential election. So we can only appeal for discretion on the part of those who may wish to peddle false election results. Respect the laws of the country. It is only the commission that has the final um, authority to announce the results of election. And this is a matter of law. So it's appeal uh, rather than gagging uh, and censorship. Uh, because even if we want to censor, uh, what capacity do we have to censor? Every posting, every blog on the social media. But as a countermeasure, there will be a screen behind me, and the screen will be projecting the results on state by state basis and for each state on local government by local government basis on election day. And then there is the IRF portal uh, that citizens have access to, where you will see the polling unit level results. But what we are posting on the RF portal is not for the collation and declaration of winners because we are not doing